In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve the Alex problem called labeling a typical simple phase diagram. In these problems, you're gonna be given a phase diagram labeled with letters that looks exactly like this for every single problem. And then you're gonna be asked three different problems uh, about the phase diagram. Before we look at these different questions, let's just begin by identifying the different parts of the phase diagram, like labeling it um, in terms of what state of matter is actually at each one of these areas. Area A is where our substance exists as a solid. Area E is where we exist as a liquid and area H is where the substance exists as a gas. The line B represents the different pressure temperature combinations where the substance is coexisting as a solid and a liquid. So this would be where it's either melting or freezing depending on which direction the temperature is changing. Points that fall along line D is where the substance exists as both a liquid and a gas. So this is where it's either boiling or condensing. And then points that fall along line G are the points where it coexists as a solid in a gas, so subliming or um, depositing. Point F is our triple point. So this is where we have a solid coexisting with a liquid and a gas, all three states of matter together. And then last but not least, point C. This is where what we call the critical temperature and the critical pressure. This is the highest pressure highest temperature where we can actually distinguish the salt the liquid state from the gas state so where liquid and gas can be distinguished notice that the line stops at point c so what this means is that if you have uh you know a temperature that is above the the critical temperature there is no differentiation between the gas state and the liquid state up in this particular area. So this is the highest point where we can distinguish them from each other. Let's take a look at the three questions. Some of the questions um, down here are gonna be pretty straightforward. Like the first question here, it wants to know what region would this be a gas? So well, gases are uh, in region H on this diagram. So there we go. And also the last question is pretty straightforward. What line, uh, must the temperature and pressure have crossed if a solid sample is observed to melt? Melting is where we're converting from solid to liquid. Solid to liquid is right here, so along line B, right there. Um, and then sometimes some of these questions are a little bit trickier, like this question number two. If it is, if the sample is a mixture of liquid and gas, so if it's a mixture of liquid and gas, it needs to be falling along this particular line right here. If it's a mixture, it can't be in one of these specific areas. If we have a mixture, it has to be along one of the three lines. Or if it's a mixture of all three, it would have to be right here. If it's a mixture of liquid and gas, so it's somewhere along this line, at what point is the highest possible temperature and pressure? Well, that's our critical, critical point right there. 